me happy. Glad to hear. <clears throat> All right. Well, pardon me. <clears throat> yes, of course you do. That's why that's why it's called fishing. You need to get good at catching them. You need a better fishing rod. Oh, I myself. I really just said it. I hiccuped really loudly earlier. My fiance said, thought that I was taking the piss with it. Yeah. Why is there forest shadows in this uh, main menu? Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah, I guess for the uh, effect of the fire and stuff. I guess we'll wait for a little bit, see who who, who joins us. Um, Cheese. All right. I'm in game, so you can um remind me if you need somebody to demonstrate on. Please do yeah. show up uh in a bit. And yeah, we'll see. He's uh he's Oh, pardon me, doing some weight training, working out. It's just so... Yeah, yeah, you work out a lot. It's, uh, he's always lifting weights and stuff. You... I don't believe that shit either, man. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, yeah, man. I mean, you need, you need a lot of the muscles to be... Uh, um, Frame checking. checking on re actually frame checking on reaction. Yeah. <laughs> There's also forced shadows in the uh, loading screen before a match. Weird. Do you, do you not have uh, shadows turned off? I do have shadows turned off. That uh, get that those sweet frames per second. Of course, how can I live without 400 FPS? Yeah, 400 FPS? Yeah, so around there. That's crazy. I... You can drop it down to 200 and have shadows. <laughs> nah, I need my refresh rate in frames, at least like 60 frames above my refresh rate. Wow, fair enough. Otherwise, it is bad. Very bad. 200 FPS makes me puke. That is, that's me. I cannot, can't comprehend that. I, don't, I my my, poopies, my PC can't can't get 200 FPS. So, uh, if it did make me puke up below than that, lower than that, then I'd be in a, a bad way. I think I I can only really get 60 FPS or decent. Okay, one day, one day. Yeah. Well, you know, I need to need to upgrade my PC, but. The market at the moment is like a whole thing. I mean, G GPUs should go back on price slowly because uh, mining crash and stuff. And I can only hope they, they do, do crash currently. This one. Or Dogecoin goes up to one dollar and then we're all screwed. Uh, yeah. yeah. And Elon Musk buys all of ours. I didn't realize I was selling my liver, but apparently I won't. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like stupid amount of millionaires if Dogecoin goes up to $1. <laughs> Probably why it won't. Um, all right, so I guess we'll wait for a little bit, see, uh, to get see how you've got the joiners, and then we can start when, whenever you're ready. Um, I, you can, your piece is better at streaming to Discord, isn't it, than mine? So. Yeah, I've I've discovered it's better to stream at the thirty FPS thing, even if uh, you have nitro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, oh my fucking hell! How you doing today, Stag? Uh, sorry, what? Hi, Tony. He's quiet. How you doing today? Me? I'm doing very yeah. well. Thank you. Oh, You're really eating dinner. You know? Yeah, I thought you were excited about excited for warlord session. Oh yeah, I am for sure. 
Hey there, Pyramid. It's new in chat as well. Um, we've got the Discord chat. Um, and if you want to ask any questions, if you ask them in Dojo voice text or in the um, Twitch chat, I'll see them. We can answer those questions as we go along. Thank you. Um, oh, strangers in this uh, um, Discord server. Where I, should in, where? I should interview him. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he can, he has like four word vocabulary. Uh, no, Pyramid is fine. You can you can um, watch on Twitch. It's better actually to watch if you don't want to contribute with like um, asking questions and stuff and talking. It's better to watch on Twitch than in the dis in Discord because it makes the stream quality better. Unfortunately, d d the way Discord's set up, it the more people watching, the worse stream quality becomes. So it's just how it is. Um, oh, oh, you're streaming right now. On Twitch, yes. I will be in a in a second. We'll see. Yeah, we we do have. Well, we can talk about those. Uh, um, what are we? What are we looking for here? Like word word from top to bottom, or specifics? Um, I, I think, think we should go start off with some general stuff, and and then we can go into some specific things. Like uh, in particular, I think it'd be quite cool to give people like a tutorial on how to do. Uh, Garen charge and that all that good stuff. I mean, that's gonna be like half of today's lesson because yeah. <laughs> that's like the most complicated thing about him. Yeah, even even people that are good with it sometimes mess it up. Of course. Doty, how's it going? Oh, my god, my favorite oh. thought mind. <laughs> my thought is mind. Toad mind. <laughs> it is the top mind, yes. Oh my god, the toad Hello, mind. Toad. Big fan to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Go the four lords. You go, go, go. I am the famous man. Do we have uh, your. Uh, Kintama, have you got your Toti, Toti um, <laughs> voice? Like, I'm your biggest fan, Toti. Sound clip ready or something. Oh, should I have it? Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> I haven't seen people simp for thought. Wait, does, does TG Moose count, Thought Man? No. Wait, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, man. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think we should start off in that case. Uh, you want to set up yes. a... Set up the whatever you want to demonstrate with. I will leave normally to do most of the talking because I am a a terrible warlord player. So I'm hoping I'll pick up some tips as well today. All right, warlord is like two moves and crushing charge. You do not need more. <laughs> Still more. Right. No gear perks. Actually, I don't know. Is it? Should I leave gear perks on? It's up to you. Up to you. Like. Most people in here are gonna be MM demons. Yeah, we can we can leave your books on. We can talk about your books as well if you want to. Yeah, because I think it's a big part of order. Definitely a huge part of order, actually. <laughs> um, what's a good map? Temple Garden, I guess. Yeah, Temple's a good one. Obviously, on the competitive roster as well. So. Yeah. I mean, we could have done hyper, but man, hyper. People always been banning hyper. Yeah. So, and anybody who wants to, I uh, think maybe later on we can do like a after doing demonstrations, we can set up a little practice session. And people can come in and do uh, ronding yeah. charges on each other. Oh my god, crashing charge ones, ones. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. Exactly. Right. Me and Totman can actually do a little bit of a demonstration. We do one view on Garan Charge. I, I would love to see that. Wait, I'm picking. <laughs> oh, I almost picked Kyoshin. Sorry, my <laughs> MM brain. I've got gear perks on this, uh, this wall, really. So, all right. I have all of them. It is a must. You can see, Mr. Spaniard. <laughs> I, I didn't clip it, so it's gone forever. Oh, no. Well, like, yeah. it didn't let me clip it, so I was like, what the fuck do I do? I like that we've got a sort of the 
evil ward and the and the good warlord as well with the sort of you know yes. the light and dark going on here. Oh, I'm being I'm being guaranteed charged by the minions. That oh yeah, wait, around. hold on. I'm assuming I should do like ultra mega graphics. Here we are. Um, all right, so before anything, uh, Warlord, where is Warlord as a character? Uh, talking about Comsin. Uh, a lot of people are going to say different things. I personally think that on maps like Temple Garden, High Fort, uh, and other maps where the most important point, example C on this map, has a lot of ledges, Warlord is still mandatory. Uh, meanwhile, on maps like Citadel or Sanctuary Bridge, uh, where team fights matter a lot, Warlord can be swapped out for a team fight character, whatever that might be, Zanhu, JJ, Shug, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, people, will, a lot of people will say that Warlord is just out of the meta completely. Some are still hard stuck on Warlord. It's it's pretty much up to uh, up to you how you feel about Warlord. But as a character, like no depth to the character, um, like zero. Probably the easiest character in the game, I'd say. Well, move set wise, uh, yeah. you don't have anything other than light, heavy, and headbutt. <clears throat> so when it comes to offense, when it comes to offense, you're very limited. Uh, especially against players that are uh, above average, you will just be headbutt hero, not warlord. You'll have to just deal damage with headbutt or bait it out, get guard breaks, whatever. That and ledges, which we're going to talk about later. Um, but yeah, it's people hate it because it's quotation marks, spamming bashes or that play style it's uh that's what we call cringe mm -hmm. but um yeah it is how it is um words still decent in one v one not the best definitely not the best but he's all right in onesies uh in twos he's still really really good uh not meta i think i'm not sure but i think zan who should is still meta in twos uh and in fours, I already talked about fours. Now, before we get to the the warlord move, which is just wonderful, it's um, all right, it's a bit hard to explain. There's a, a lot of uh, depth to the crushing charge, and there's a lot of things to learn about it. Uh, the super armor on it is, from what I know, scheduled to be removed in the future patch. Right? Yes. Yep. Uh, we don't we'll need a third person here to demonstrate that. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's it's not much. It's super armor. Once the crushing charge hits, it is impossible to stop. Like, it doesn't matter. You bash, you can heavy light, uh, projectile feats, literally nothing will stop it. Oh, I thought projectile feats would catch it, actually. But, um, yes, well. uh, not that I know of. Well, fair enough. Um, I think they might, if they also hit... If they hit the, the the guy being crushing charged, I don't know. I haven't tested. I haven't tested. Yeah, cool. like, we can bring some. We can bring another volunteer in here in a bit. And uh, actually, if you want to, anyone who wants to, you want to invite somebody, you can just bring pull them into the lobby, and then they'll join this match in progress. For me. My thought, mind. Yes. Do it. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't show up here. Can you invite us, fun? I'm not sure. I should have even more friends list. Um, double check. Don't mind you offline for me. Oh. No, 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 you've, you've appeared. There we go. Invite sent. Okay. I hope you end nice. up on a on my so, my team so you can do some crashing charge onesies with with uh <laughs> with Normie and then I am not on your team. All oh, right, it's auto pick for him. Whatever, we'll change afterwards. No worries, yeah. Uh, actually, okay. yeah, if you do a character with um uh longbow or something, you know, we can demonstrate yeah. the uninterruptibility oh. of it. Okay. Uh, before we get to that, I want to talk about uh, this hero's playstyle in uh, 
Well, it kind of goes around to every game mode, but fours is mainly. Um, there's obviously the different situations. You're in a team fight. You're in a one v one. You're in an anti gank. You're in a gank. Other things. Warlord is a good ganker because of headbutt. A good ganker. Obviously not glad, but a good ganker. Uh, bash ganks are still like some of the best around. Um, a very very good staller. Well, with like the most health and jog and fury, just a lot of uh, a lot of things. Of, of course, in MM you also have perks, but we talk about perks. Um, but yeah, you really need to be patient with this hero. Uh, this is what I think. Um, there's a lot of times where I am being ganked, and Warlord is not good at anti ganking. Not good at all at anti ganking, but is good at stalling. So if you're being ganked, you shouldn't, uh, you know, you get your revenge and then you start trying to go crazy to kill everyone, whatever, uh, get one guy out so you can one view on the other. Not really, you're kind of just going to stay there and not do anything, uh, try to keep your revenge for like as long as you can. And just stall for as long as possible so that you get a teammate, whatever you can get to uh, win the fight. In 2v2s at the beginning of a game, or, you know, just 2v2s in the game mod, um, sort of the same purpose. You're going to be the guy that's going to be in the middle um, because you have low recoveries on your zone and decent peel you you'll be better off in the middle with like a zanwu next to you or a kensei or something to peel and in a team fight situation you're you can pretty much do whatever you want in a team fight you can isolate someone in 1v1 uh you can gank someone real quick because bash gank is still really quick uh or you can hold off to people anything really uh that's why World is really, really good. You want to but, demonstrate uh, the bash gank now quickly? Whilst, whilst I'm uh, sure. All right. Uh, I'll bash. Like, it, that's it. It's that quick. And what's that? Uh, 15 plus what's your damage shot? Oh, he did a 27, 29. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, half of a Warlord uh, health bar, yeah, which is good. a lot. Yeah. Uh, two of those, I think two of those kill if done perfectly. Yeah, it should uh, do. Um, here, let's see. The range will last it, but yeah, no, you're left with one HP. Yeah, so. Uh, well, so yeah, now. on on most other heroes, it will two of them will kill. Uh, obviously, there's only a few with uh, like how much does this hero have? 130. Uh, Ward has 140, but yeah, pretty much anyway. 140. <laughs> yeah, most heroes will get a, will be dead after that. Um. Okay. Now, uh, a bit of advice for one Jones with this character, playing as or against. Uh, here I'll kill you so you can get your HP back. Since your kid is so limited, you're very. You have to rely a lot on. Uh, not necessarily mind games, but conditioning your uh, your opponent. It's not as much like, I don't know, I don't know, I can't think of a good example, but you really have to condition your enemy into whatever it is, bashes, guard breaks. Uh, famous move is mooling someone where you light a bunch of times and then throw a heavy and they're going to parry on light timing. Uh, it's uh, amazing, honestly. But, uh, yeah, like that. Stuff like that, mixing it up, headbutts, anything else. Uh, you don't, unfortunately, while you also, you have like a really small kit, you also can't use all of it. Like this unusable move, this unusable move, uh, this almost unusable. <laughs> kind of like, maybe you can get a light out of it or something, not much. So, you can use uh, this, that one to whiff a, punch a guard break temp, but I mean, look at the range on it. 
yeah, there's no range, and uh, it's just not a good move. Just terrible move. I'd say it's even worse than this, and than the Dodge Forward Heavy, because with Dodge Forward Heavy, you can use in fights. You can sometimes even use it to chase. Uh, you can use it as a punish on the ground because the headbutt is confirmed. It's what, like, uh, hold on. 24 plus 15. Not bad. Yeah. Um, back in the day, the headbutt used to be confirmed no matter what. Yeah. From what I remember. Yeah. Uh, that was a move. Um, in fact, now the move has, uh, the way it was removed, the move has light hit stun. So if you want to go and do a, do a, do a, do the move on me. Uh, He doesn't. He doesn't get ledged. He doesn't ledge. Um, yeah. Whereas, yeah, yeah, any other any other one would be. Um, yeah, uh, it's um, that really was a problem. Uh, back then, headbutt was like uh, twelve damage, I think. Yeah, and headbutt was uh, not as good as a move uh, as it is now, but still, it was twelve free damage. And I think, from what I remember, the dodge forward heavy used to be thirty five. Yes, yeah, it used to be instead of life, yeah. It was not team. And you do have deadly, so if you have deadly on, then the headbutt will deal more damage. Whatever, a lot of damage um, for one move. Obviously, they removed it. Now it's uh, more of a more of a read after the helm splitter because I can still do my headbutt, uh, but uh, I can also just super delay it, which uh, catches the pre-dodge, light, zone, whatever. <clears throat> um, I mean, unfortunately, it's all you all you have uh, conditioning and if seeing how good your opponent is at dealing with the uh, headbutt, and if they can't, just headbutt spam forever. Your uh, damage yeah. is it's worth yeah. that you get um you get frame advantage after the the punish of a headbutt. So headbutt light into we'll give you frame advantage. But it won't give you a fair advantage to do another headbutt, so. Yeah, the recovery to neutral is longer. But yeah, it's getting doing that and using frame advantage. Uh, if you get really good at using your frame advantage, you can get like good like sections of like dealing 40, 50 damage uh, and going back to neutral. With this hero, you don't really have to worry too much about stamina. Your co your chains are not complicated enough to drain too much stamina. Uh, all you have is, I think it's a universal. Yeah, it's a universal two hit chain. For moves, uh, a lot of his moves, he only used to have light, heavy, and heavy light. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they were really bad because heavy into light, the light was six or seven hundred. It was 600, I think. Yeah. Uh, it was really slow, especially without CCU. And uh, light into heavy, you could use to maybe bait out something and get like what it used to be 40 damage. <clears throat> um, you used to have quite low damage heavies, actually. They used to be in like 25 damage. Oh, it? yeah. Way back in the day, I think, or from what I remember, his top heavy was actually 20 and his sides were 25. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, and uh, then over some patches, yeah. he ended up having 30 top and 40, no, 35 top. Yeah, I don't remember. 40 sides. Yeah, that's crazy, actually. Um, obviously, CCU hit. Now you have uh, 24 top and 27 sides from neutral. Yeah. It's good damage. It's definitely good damage, especially compared to other heroes, even Kyoshin, like, you know, lower damage, whatever. Um, I hyper armor, you can really use your hyper armor. Uh, I think it even used to be better. Uh, I think it used to activate faster. I think it was a little bit faster, yeah. But um, it's still definitely usable to trade, and most of the times you'll have a good trade because what what, what damage is the finisher heavy twenty nine or thirty two? There yeah, we'll wait when you come back and see that. It's at twenty nine. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. You'll out trade uh, mostly everything. 
As for feats, the feats that you see that I have, Rush, Jug, uh, Fury, and Fire Flask are the best feats. Uh, Rush, Quick Rotations. Warlord's already a decently fast character with Rush or even faster. Uh, Jug, Fury, Saw, or Fury Flask to delete an entire enemy team. Uh, we all love uh, Fury Flask. Um, pro tip, don't. Don't. Let's just please don't pop Jug and Fury at the same time. <laughs> like, please. Uh, we have a specific warrior player that's done that in tournaments and scrims before, and everybody just laughed at him because the damage reduction from Jug just overlaps uh, the Fury one and makes the feat borderline useless. So um, you, can, you can stagger them, like you do one after the other and then... Yeah. But overall, Warlord, really good feats. Do not keep your feats for next game. Use them when you need to. If you don't have Flask, use Fury as you would use Jug. Um, character is already really good at stalling without feats, with feats, and with perks. You're almost unkillable. My matchmaking experience is begged to differ, but yeah. But you do, you're not the God of Warlords. <laughs> um, defense wise, you're pretty bad. I mean, you don't have any dodge attack, you cannot punish bashes, you can't uh, really punish anything that doesn't have a super long recovery to GB. But hey, if you get a GB, you either get off with 24 or a ledge. So sometimes it's worth it. And you can wall splat with it as well for 27 yeah. and stamina oh. damage. Oh, yeah. Now that stamina damage. Uh, I'm not sure why this hasn't been reduced or fixed yet. I'm not sure if it's a bug or what. But uh, Warward is a big stamina bully. His bashes don't stamp pause. As you can see, he instantly gets his uh, stam back. But the guard break stamp damage uh, on a wall splat which to do, you have to hold the throw up until it lets go itself, is it's like 60%. 60 no, it's, it's 60 damage straight up, and then uh, you get 20 just from the throw to start off with. So yeah. crashing charge is, is 60. There we go, I'm at the stamina. Um, but if you throw it, you get it from the throw, it's another it's another 20 stamina on top of that. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of stamina damage. Um, if his bash also did stamp pause, then I think this might be like actually like borderline broken because it's really easy to get somebody out of stamp, but keeping them there would be a bit too much. Yeah, you can also get a uh, stamp pause on the fire punish as well. Uh, uh, yes, which also deals this move uh, when CC first came around it used to drain like 70% stamina uh, for unknown reasons, but they fixed that and now it drains like 30, I think. Or something yeah. like that. It's 30 here. So, Same as yeah, yeah. Uh, headbutt is, it looks like 10 or something. 20, something Yeah, 20, but he gets it back by the end of the animation. So, uh, don't try to use it to keep somebody. But yeah, if you manage to get a guard break, was splat them, get them like super low stam or out of stam, you have however many seconds to mix up with headbutts and guard breaks. Uh, if Headbutt is good damage for a bash. Conk bash is 13, I think, or 12. Uh, and BP1 is 14. Warlords is 15, so he has the most damaging bash. It's also, well, some people say it different, but most people agree that it's the hardest to react to. For a few different reason, uh, reasons. Um, but um, here, as you can see here, if you lock onto me, Span. Uh, Warlord is huge, and even on my screen, uh, when I'm not in a team fight where it zooms out, I'm stuck in a one v one. I'm not zoomed out. I can I can barely see him uh, in this guard. Uh, kind of same with top, not as bad. So if you're trying to defend yourself when you're out of stamina, you have to train yourself to keep your guard on the left, to, so you can actually see something. Because if I keep my guard here and you headbutt me, I barely see it. Uh, it works both ways as well, because if your opponent holds his guard on top as a Warlord, headbutt is much harder to see. Because the shield covers up most of the orange. 
Um, there's shields that are smaller. Uh, I think the, um, uh, what is it, the frost event or the winter event uh, is a, the smallest shield you can get. And there's also the really big shields, which I guess you could use to have your headbutt be more effective. Wow, no, I already thought of that. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the same with uh, the other Bash characters. Like BP has a, a shield that makes Bash slightly harder to react to, and other stuff like that. Uh, we also have a perfect example of uh, just some Warlord uh, main in NA that has his Warlord completely orange uh, because quotation marks makes it harder to react to. I don't know if that actually works, but it's uh, pretty clownish. And you've been fast. Um, all guard has this shit move. We talked about it. Terrible. Uh, but you can also light out of it, which is actually pretty useful. If you really need to mix up someone, you can throw a light that's, you know, without guard switch delay. That is uh, uh, sometimes useful. Get a bit of damage in. But really simple character. Uh, honestly, not much to it. Now we have the forbidden move, the funny orange run, the crushing charge. And I'm assuming one day it'll be removed or changed. Hmm. Uh, for example, they are, like I said, they are removing the super armor, but I actually don't think that's going to make the move much worse because in current situations or back when World was meta on all maps, um, People already peeled for the Warlord because, yeah, while you have super armor and it can't be interrupted, you still take full damage from everything. So, um, it, you could almost ledge someone, maybe fail the ledge and eat like 50, 60 damage, which is really not great. So, the, your teammate usually peels for you, anyways. So, yeah, if they can remove super armor, if you're as long as your teammate peels for you, crushing charge is no different. <clears throat> uh, back when Warlord had uh, 300 ms crashing charge, uh, that was very dark days, very dark time in Froner history. But his neutral guard break throw was also uh, super far. I don't remember how far it was, but it was the farthest throw in the game. And uh, you could basically just 50 50 your way by running around and crashing charging. It's great. I'm sure you can actually find clips of that or videos on whatever. I remember Bax had has some uh, some videos of that uh, on his YouTube where he, it's like Warlord one v ones and he's just running around, literally not even looking on. Uh, Lord, didn't he also the... like feign it into his jumping heavy as well, like stop uh, dodge he, attacks and stuff? He could. Yeah, uh, that what used to be a mind game. Um, where you could crushing charge and say if the crushing charge rift you could go into your running heavy to not get guard broken uh or you could for example i'd have an enemy in front of me and i'll do this and straight go into my running heavy uh to catch whatever guard break whatever they're trying to interrupt or it used to be a thing not anymore um i'm not quite sure why they removed this actually to be honest, I think it was pretty cool. Uh, just made the character a bit more uh, in depth. Where yeah, now crashing charge is just crashing charge. Still the strongest move in the game. Yeah. Um, other than obviously the you know the stamina damage and uh, what Toti's demonstrating on me now, uh, it also like you can. I think one of the things that makes it very strong we don't really talk about is you know if if you dodge it, like. You can still, you can't really punish it unless you got a dodge attack, and a dodge attack that go that has good tracking as well. Because you know, I'm just gonna carry, I'm just gonna hold it and carry on going, and you can yeah, like here, crushing charge me. I can't guard break it. I can't even zone it, and my zone has good range and is undodgeable. So, yeah, unless you have like a dodge attack, um, or I guess Sun Hu zone or some something with insane forward movement. Like there I could because you hit the wall, but you just keep going. 
Uh, I guess it's about time we get into Crashing Church. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, this is where I it gets complicated. I talk about the zone in terms of peel, but um... uh, I mean, yeah, zone is uh, zone and headbutt are really the only peeling help. Uh, headbutt's not that great, but for stopping the throw, stopping stuff like that, still good to peel. Uh, you can sometimes peel and initiate a gank with it. Useful stuff. But yeah, zone is your main uh, peel move because no recovery and good hitbox, also undodgeable. Uh, his zone used to be not undodgeable, but had some really weird tracking to it, from what I remember. Yeah. It was, it was like... 25 fucking damage as well. So. Oh yeah, it used to deal 25. I, they, it was actually uh, undodgeable uh, before they even nerfed it to, uh, what is it now, like 14? Yeah, well, it was definitely with a CZU 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it, 25, it used to be the optimal heavy party punish. Uh, so, yeah, you'd get 25 off of a heavy parry and uh, 35 off of a light parry. So, yeah, that was... Mad what we used to put up with. <laughs> Actually, crazy. Were insane. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now it's 14. It's not really as much of a damage move than there is uh, an interrupt move or whatever. <clears throat> now, uh, actually, wait, before crashing chair, just talk a bit, bit about perks. Um, perks on Warlord are, if you're an MM fiend, you spend 12 hours a day playing MM like any other frontrunner player. Um, perks are going to be your life with this hero. Uh, because while he's probably some like the best staller in the game with feats by himself, then you have the perks that I have, which is Last Stand, Vengeful, and Bastion, and uh, magically enemy heavies deal 12 damage. Uh, because it's a 45% uh, percent damage reduction when you're under one bar, which is also critical HP. But yeah, um, yeah. The thing that I makes Last Stand actually the strongest perk in the game is not just the damage reduction. It's because, see, shields don't count as HP. So if I'm half a bar, so in critical HP where uh, Last Stand is active, and I have a shield that could be Vengeful Shield or just any shield, uh, I'm still going to have the damage reduction. So that's why Vengeful and Last Stand go together incredibly well, because if I'm... I got ganked. I'm really low because I got ganked, but I got Venge. I'm going to be able to use my Venge, stall that out, and then afterwards I have... I don't remember how many seconds it is uh, Vengeful is up for. 15, 15 seconds. 15 seconds is a lot. Yeah. It really is a lot. Uh, that uh, it's up for, and the shield is 15 or 25 or 20. It's 25, so you get one bar. So you could be, te you're technically at one bar and a half, uh, and you have 45% damage reduction, turns that one bar and a half into a lot more. So crazy perk combination. Bastion is just there because overall 10% damage. Uh, Damage reduction is amazing. So <laughs> when you're playing MM like that, you're going to see heavy characters are some of the favorites. So yeah, if you go in the game against like two Warlords, a BP and a Conk uh, with all perks, uh, have fun, honestly. Uh, GG right there. Yeah, and you also get the revenge bug as well from... yeah. That you, want, you can share that off now quickly if you've got some time. Um, uh, wait, yeah, no, I should just on me. I got revenge. Oh, yeah, you do. I got revenge on, so um, yes, this is the revenge feeding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, so and we need to feed big fast, yeah. Well, as long as it, so we'll see after I leave it. We have a bar, but won't we, yeah, won't we. Cancel it out. I think you probably will now. That you yeah, yeah. So basically, if you get Venge while you still have some of the Vengeful uh, barrier left, 
it bugs out and you get like yeah, full HP shield. Uh, you can just spam DB for fast. Or just spam DB with me, yeah. Yeah. So you get that, whatever, how many seconds? 10, I think. What, 7? I have no clue how many Oh, it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then boom, you pop again. That's a few seconds again. And then, uh, poof, magic. Wait, Look at that. What? Why is it still here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one way. That's one way of dealing with it, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's the thing as well. Overall defensive beast, uh, this character. And now I think we can actually safely go into crashing charge and talk about that. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, crashing charge itself as a move is, has more depth to it than the entire character. So uh, that's that's a thing. Uh, you you're going to if you want to master the move, you're gonna have to learn. There's three stages of crashing charge. There is uh, uh, when to input the crashing charge to have it be, you know, the most effective. Um, how to let go of crashing charge properly to have it uh, be almost an infinite. That you can crash and charge. You can technically crash and charge infinitely um, as long as you have the right environment around you. Um, and some of them. And stamina, yeah. Uh, also, there is uh, crushing charge. Still has the wall splat stamina damage, so that's sixty. You can get uh, somebody out of stamina two crushing charges. Wonderful, uh, and that's basically one because usually the second one is guaranteed if you do it properly. Um, and then now. But that one knocks down, and then you can go drag someone off while they're out of stamina. Yes, it's also guaranteed when they're underground, if you time it properly. So yeah, crashing charge. So here, if you bring it back around, Tot. <laughs> It'll be a while before I'm there. <laughs> um, he's got he's going off. <laughs> okay, I want to talk first about the about the beginning of crashing charge, how to input it properly, and stuff like that. Uh, I'll talk about the stages, which is actually some research I've made myself, and I'm really proud of it, so uh, we'll see about that. But um, if here, if you lock onto me, put my gear out, out, out of the way, <laughs> and I do this, he can react to it years, years before he has to dodge it. But if I do this, it's actually the 500 ms it's supposed to be. So don't input crushing charge like forever uh, before you actually go to hit it. That's a very, I don't think there is even an exception for that, to be honest. Um, even externally, while they don't see you, as long as you're crushing charging and you're, uh, you're locked onto them, they're going to get a big ass uh, exclamation mark above them for the entirety of it. So they can actually dodge it even externally. So yeah, always, uh, if you want to crash near someone, always do it right before uh, hitting them yourself. Next thing. Um, it also improves the tracking of it as well. Like you can do the yeah. crashing charge long range, go on. Um, yeah, you, if I do long range. Oh, this character's got terrible sidewalk distance, but. Um, it's it's much harder. It's much easier to avoid. Yeah, I mean, I can just avoid it by moving sideways. If I if I'm if you carry it with a decent walk speed, you can avoid it just by walking. If they do it from far away. Yeah, but, like uh, so. Shaolin or whatever. Yeah. Um. So it doesn't have great tracking unless you do it right here, where you actually have to use your dodge slash eye frames to uh, avoid it. Um. Uh, little note. Uh, sometime crashing charge is a blue move, is what we like to say, because sometimes you dodge it, but you don't. Um, it happens, I'm sure you've had to suffer through that, where you clearly dodged it, and you even did the dodge animation fully, and you still get hit by it. I don't know what causes that. Uh, I know you can dodge it too early, and it has some weird tracking to it. The reason but... why that happens is because crashing charge is one of these weird moves that doesn't have... Oh, I'm dead. Um, that 
most moves in the game have like a time they hit. It's they hit at a particular frame and that's it. Crashing charge is a strange one in that it has an active hitbox for the entire like duration of the orange bit. It, like it doesn't have it's weird to say you can't really say, oh, it hit it's five hundred milliseconds long because obviously if I start it here, it's way slow way longer than that, but it's still hit. Yeah. And it's, that means that if you yeah. dodge and you're still inside the the area, like oh wow, like, <laughs> um you you're still gonna get uh it will still catch you. So five hundred is the shortest it can be. Yes, basically. So but that means that yeah, like if you if you externally dodge it sideways, it'll follow you and you'll get hit anyway. You can kill yourself with flask. I didn't yep. know that. <laughs> I just well, saw that as well. <laughs> um, yeah, be careful with your flask. You you really do deal a lot of damage to yourself as well. <clears throat> All right, well, back to crushing charge. Um, we talked about the weird thing with the duration and hitbox, and we talked about how to use it properly from the beginning, and now we come to good at the very end. Actually the range of it that I would like to talk about. Um, the range of the actual unlock move is much, much longer than the throw. So here, let him, let him, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we need more, we need more volunteers, uh, more bodies to be thrown around. <laughs> I've seen enough for her spider. Let it just be three. I could volunteer, but I need, I need to set my game up. That's all right. It's fine. I get here fast. That's thanks to Rush. All right. So, don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, throwing somebody that that lands here. Come, come closer here. And I do this. That one was bad. That's very short throw range. If you come like, uh, well, I can't do crushing charge that close. Uh, well, a bit closer, like right there. Yeah. And I do a running crushing charge. That's going to was bad. And it's much farther away. Uh, because when they nerfed his throw, they didn't actually nerf Crashing Charge taught mine. <laughs> what? How did that not? That <laughs> caught me. Yeah, what? it's it's because he let go uh, the frame. It caught you. That's another so <laughs> another bug. Yeah, Crashing Charge is full of bugs. <clears throat> All right, so um, that's the one thing. Uh, you can get a lot of Crashing Charges uh, in chain. So I can do this. Circle, guaranteed one, that circle, guaranteed one, almost there. And then yeah. from there, I would crush and charge him that way into that wall, and then he'd be latched. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is completely pos uh, possible. Absolutely possible. Uh, it does take a lot of time to master, uh, especially that with getting back-to-back -back crushing charges. It's easy to learn how to do but it's very hard to actually get it down consistently because you need to practice doing the, the circle, which is like basically you're, you're running in place to run enough to be able to start the crashing charge. Uh, you need to get the hang of that. You need to uh, like learn when to let go because here, if you come here, if I hold it until he hits the wall, well, that was a bad example because I didn't have enough range. But if you stay right there and I crash charge you into the wall and don't let go early, I do the bounce back thing and you can avoid this, the, the, the next one. So what I'd have to do is here, if I move you to like here, is crashing charge him and let go of him immediately. He's going to slide, well, into the wall, but I'm bad. Uh, and then I'll actually have the time to do another circle and crashing charge again. So if you do that into a wall, and the animation happens, this, you cannot do another. It is impossible. Little tip I um, from playing a man, by the way, if you touch someone into a wall and you mess up the distance and you're too close, you can wait a bit and then GB them and they'll most likely try to dodge a follow up. If you do the if you if you do the circle but don't actually do a charge and just intentionally throw GB light, most people oh. are gonna try and dodge. Yeah. Uh if the person can't react to crushing charge, then crushing charge is your best friend. Yeah. But uh 
while it is a 500 ms move and it that's not uh, really quick it does have a bigger dodge uh dodge window than yeah, uh, other batches a little bit after it hits you um but well, a little bit after it would normally hit you it's yeah. weird so it is easier to dodge than uh, other bashes. Now there is, okay, so back on the topic of knowing when to let go, uh, as long as you play around with crushing charge, learn the range uh, and how to like judge uh, in the moment, how far you need to charge someone to for them to hit the wall. As long as you do it, the furthest range you can, you have more time to do the circle. Um, you find it's easier to you, do on um, controller or, or mouse and keyboard? Well, I've had a lot of people tell me that's much easier to do uh, on controller. What I think is easier on controller is doing the circle. Uh, doing the circle is definitely much easier on controller. Uh, I've completely got the hang of it on, uh, on mouse and keyboard, but that's because I only ever play mouse and keyboard. Here, let me actually plug in my controller. If we're into this, I might as well experiment, right? Yeah. And how 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 like you, there's like a minimum forward distance you can. Well, is there a minimum forward distance you have to? Because when I try and do it, like I often yeah do this thing where I like oh yeah I'm turning around and then oh I should do it this time, but you know like I run up and go like Whoa, and then I just do a guard break in midair and look like an idiot. One second, okay. Oh, uh, disgusting controlling device. Okay, I'm a controller player now. Uh, let me see. I haven't actually. I haven't tried to do crushing charge with controller for so long because it's hard to like I don't know it's, for me it's just like incredibly hard to to use a controller <laughs> I was really bad at it uh, yeah but I can already tell it's much easier to do the I yeah, can already tell it's control, I just must be bad in that case <laughs> it's really easy it's like even on um, mouse and keyboard it's really easy you're just play uh, pressing. A W D or uh, the other way around, uh, and doing it in such a timing that uh, you do enough running to actually initiate it. So here, hold on. Oh yeah, actually, um, since we talked about the range, you can steal a crashing charge. Kind of. Um, sometimes it straight up doesn't listen if i'm gonna be honest but um the most consistent way of doing it that i know is you hit your opponent and you point your circle in the middle which i can't get to show up that thing uh at where you want what direction you want to throw them in and that's the most consistent way of steering it sometimes it completely goes the opposite direction it's just another bug or not bug but anomaly of crushing charge um, there is when when trying to throw someone into a wall to have a uh, infinite crushing charge. There is another thing which is you prefer you want to prefer throwing your enemy into the wall at an angle rather than uh, directly into it. Because when you throw them directly into it, it, you don't you need to do a circle while also moving left and right, which takes more time and harder to do more chance of them dodging uh well if you throw them at an angle and they hit the wall diagonally you can just not move at all and still do it and uh, ledge so that's another thing you have to practice there is oh yeah you can actually get crashing charge uh, the crashing charge chain off of a car break uh here if you better get a time in the back once upon a time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that as well. Yeah, the timing for what's the timing you want to hit for when you're when the person's on the floor to get um it? there is no way of uh like doing a perfect timing where like you know how there's some gangs where if you buffer everything, it's all confirmed, it's all the perfect timing. Not with this. With, with this, you literally just have to learn it. Um, yeah. it's, in, it's in between the wake up and uh, the, the knockdown itself. Um, Somewhere in between that thing. Some people I know count seconds. 
and it's a one two count i think from what i remember of when they let go of the crushing charge and when to input the next one when they wake up it's it sounds hard and it is hard at first but then when you get the right timing two or three times you're like oh wow this is really easy and you can just do it forever and it's actually awful <clears throat> um another thing what you saw right there is if you gb if you try to mind game and gb to bait the dodge um your gb can bounce off if you do it too early and that guarantees a gb for your enemy so that's how you can embarrass yourself using crushing charge let's see if Todd can oh, oh. Yeah. there you go oh no and there hey. he goes see if that happened and Todd was any better than he is b tier player um <laughs> He would have just headbutt uh, yeah. on wake up, but you know, thought man, hey, what can you do? Then you have um, you can actually. <laughs> this is a really a thing that I want to talk about. It's not really that effective anymore. But back when the zone dealt twenty five damage, uh, the damage you got on the wall plot was basically the same with your zone. Um, so what I used to do with Fish is we both play Warlord and he'd run in circles crushing charging and I just zone. Uh, so either way, they either got hit by a crushing charge or got hit by 25 damage zone. Uh, you can really get creative with it yeah, with your teammates. Yeah. And you can confirm it for your teammates as yes. well. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you... With anything, really. Yeah. You can confirm it with anything. Uh, you can... Okay, I don't recommend this at all, but you can confirm it with GB. Um, but that's fucking stupid, and yeah. I don't know why. Best confirm with a head, but with a sorry, heavy or something, right? Yeah, yeah, like anything really. Even if you get parried, it's a better confirm than confirm with Garbrick. I know that Garbrick is like the easiest to access. Uh, while, for example, the next easiest thing would be uh, an undodgeable attack. But stuff like Warlord Zone, confirming with Warlord Zone for another crushing charge, or confirming with Zanhu Zone, is that there's a pretty good chance you're going to hit your Warlord already crashing charge. So, mm. But yeah, there's plenty of ways. Enhanced Lights, uh, getting parried is one of the better confirms because they're in stagger for so long. And uh, there's a lot of stuff. For example, when trying to confirm a guard break, if you really are going to do that, um, Okay, goodbye, Totemind. And now we're going to have a bot, so I'm actually going to back out and restart. Yeah, and we can, um, anybody else who wants to uh, join in and practice with the, with it, we can do a little workshop and you can just come along and we'll invite you in as we go along, essentially. Maybe, maybe Skipman wants to join, but I don't know. Uh, no, um, Antonio's there. Hey, Antonio. Not very good reward. I am exposing the script there now, so I can't. Oh, he's busy. I get it. No worries. Ish. Yeah, regardless. Uh, hold on, let me start it up again. Uh, what I was going to say is, is what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. When confirming with Garbrick, if you're going to do that. Uh, oh, what have I done? Um, if you get the, if you, the way to confirm it with that is the enemy counter guard breaks and your uh, warlord that you're confirming for needs to know the timing to crashing charge in I don't know how many milliseconds you have. Oh, I don't know. Um, after a counter guard break where they can't dodge, uh, so it's guaranteed. Yeah, I'll go spawn the other side. Oh yeah, sorry, I was just trying to find the totally find again. And uh, you can do that if your guard break lands. Uh, well, you're supposed to faint your punish to uh, extend the time that they're in the guard break saga for, so your roller can crashing charge. It's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to actually experiment with, or however long they might still be in the game. To be honest, from uh, how long has it been uh, overpowered for since like since it came out? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, can't so, uh, not be no party. Yeah, so it's been OP for what four years, Lamont? Yeah, at least. Uh, 
yeah, okay. So wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't ever get removed at this point. But um I think it's unlikely to ever get removed. I think it's likely that they might increase the we know that we know that the um the arm is going from it. Yeah. I think it's likely they will remove the stamina damage from it as well. Um or reduce the stamina damage. And I think it's also possible what they might do is change it to be like and currently we're talking a lot about like chaining it off um off things, but that is probably the most powerful aspect of it. And I can I definitely can see them making it like uh, Raiders uh Raiders charge and and not able to confirm it off itself, yeah. actually. Um, and also being so, not steerable. Yeah, <laughs> or not having, like, you know, uh, a time where it, it just... If, it, if they change it to be, like, Stampede Charge, where it has a you know, a specific hitting time and it doesn't um, carry on going off into the distance <laughs> yeah. uh, afterwards, then that will probably also be, like, a nerf to it as well. And, yeah, I mean, the character would be far less picked... Um, at the top level because of that. I mean, I think his moveset is solid overall, but very basic. He just needs things like dodge attack. And... Yeah, if you give him a dodge attack and nerf his crushing charge, I think he'll be one of the characters that is uh, viable while not being mega mandatory. Uh, I mean, it depends, actually. We don't know what sort of dodge attack. If they give him dodge headbutt, then he sheesh. Yeah, I hope they give him, like, the 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 light punish afterwards as like that to dodge attack. Yeah, I mean they could really do anything to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um give him dodge crack break XD. <laughs> oh, um, God. Dodge crashing oh, yeah. charge. Dodge crashing charge. Please don't say that. Yeah. Um what else is there about crashing charge? So basically everything I've said so far, if you get the hang of all of it, you're basically mastered it. It's really difficult and it's pretty pretty annoying uh i know a bunch of people who took i know people who took like two days three days to learn all of it and i know people who took two months to learn all of it uh, yeah i mean i've definitely seen people i've occasionally seen eyes appearing on the on the friends list and spectated see what's going on and it's somebody it's two people having a a warlord uh crashing charge mirror match and <laughs> yeah. practicing it's, their angles it's, essentially so they can get it it's one it. of the it's one of the more fair mirrors yeah but yeah and, and you know practicing the yeah i'm not, I'm not very... that's it um so we wanted to do the crashing charge onesies thought finds pc died but he will be back he said so oh, we're gonna wait on that. Uh, meanwhile, what else is there we can talk about? I mean, we could talk about what someone to help. I could, I could. Well, if you're streaming, we don't want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Join. I mean, the only thing we have left uh, that we actually wanted to do was uh, the onesies. Yeah, and we can talk about. Well, I guess we can talk about what he struggles with as a character. Oh yes, yes, yes. Very different. Hold on, I just threw my controller almost out the window. Okay. Um. As a character, what does Warlord struggle with? Orange, in general. Anything that's orange. Uh, unblockables or uh, patches, pretty hard for the character to deal with. Because, like you said, you don't have a... I'm stuck in the corner. <laughs> you don't have a, a dodge attack to punish this, so while you could be a reaction demon, dodge all of it, you're not going to be able to punish any of it unless you pre-dodge. So if he does that but here and I pre-dodge, then I can punish, do that, and this. No. <laughs> and then I wanted the guard break, but I didn't do it properly. <clears throat> um, now, uh, unblockables, obviously, he struggles with because he doesn't have uh, great dodges. His dodges are pretty bad. Uh, they're not terrible, but they're pretty bad. Uh, not they're a lot of the shortest side dodges, actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, his forward dodge has 500 MS recovery. Yeah, I think so. Um, Which is like uh, really fast. And uh, what are you trying to do here? I was trying to crash and charge like twice, and I'm just bad at it. Oh, okay. 
So there's that. He struggles with everything that's orange. Uh, externally, yeah, he can parry. That's it. Everyone else can. He doesn't have the dodge attack. That helps the most when avoiding unblockables. Doesn't have that bad dodges. Um, I mean, yeah, that's like that's why he struggles with unblockables. Another, what are other things he struggles with are characters I with, feel, huh? I feel like he struggles with a uh, big, pe- big, wide peeling moves that stop him from running around. Oh uh, like... yeah, I mean, huge peel can say Zanhu uh, also kind of a uh, bugs warlord because. While even if you're running around, if you're running around trying to crushing charge, of course you make sense why that uh, stops that. But also, while as a warlord, to do well in two v two, you need to trust your teammate. Your teammate does mostly everything for you while you're there smashing headbutt button and parrying everything you see. Um. Really. Very bad, I am. But yeah, um, having a oh, teammate yeah. that can peel really well, while also, you know, if you have, and if your enemy has a teammate that can peel really well, it's really hard for you to do anything as forward because headbutt's really easy to peel. Um, most you can do is either headbutt and then not do anything or headbutt and CC, but that can also be baited out. And if you try to CC, so if you do that again, uh, I messed up. I can parry the light, Back. Uh, and yeah, if he, even if he does the, get the CC, I can still parry. I'll come back, so it's fine. There you are. <clears throat> Not yet on the uh, PC is unmelted, marvelous, solidified PC. Um, what else does he struggle with? We talked about P, we talked about orange moves. Uh, characters with variable timing. Offense, so like sent again, just because he doesn't have a dodge deck, so there's less op- options for defense. Um, yeah, so I mean, MK Ultra asks, What's Wolves' role in 4v4s? Uh, he's he's a tank, he's a huge tank, he's a really quick ganker for where needed, and it's I don't know, it's kind of like I don't know how to explain myself, but it's a it's a hero that you're scared of. When the warlord is in the team fight, you're scared of the warlord. You're not scared of the enemy. You're scared of the warlord. Um, like I said, it's very hard to kill a good warlord. It's very hard to uh, to get rid of one when you're ganking. It's hard to keep one from from being uh, of use in the team fight. It's especially really scary with crashing charge because obviously one shot move on anything and everyone. So. Yeah, you're you're a tank. Uh, you have fast rotations with rush. You go, you rotate fast into a point. You hunker down. Do what you can do. Uh, you get rotations for for yourself from teammates and live forever. And since he's a heavy, uh, like handful of kills on the point, and you have all of your feats, and you can get to use fire flask twice in one game in a comp environment. Well, I'm sure in an MM environment, you can get upwards of three if uh, you really pop off. Uh, what else? Mm, all right. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. I'm not even on the water. <laughs> I'm sitting at the edge there. So for a bit of lore, before we start the onesies, uh, it's called fishing for a reason. Grandmaster Crashing Charger Fishmaglass found it and uh, has perfected it and uh, spread fear in the hearts of every Forerunner player in the universe because Crashing Charge. And I'm fairly positive that if Fish wasn't around, Crashing Charge would be a much less important move. I'm sure people would have found out about it. About the way you can abuse it, uh, it would just it just would have been much later, because when it was a thing and it was discovered by him by Fish, uh, Warlord was very far away from being in the meta. Fish my glass was a Sith legend. Yeah, he is like a precursor. He is a precursor. He made Warlord great. Did he also ruined him. By the way, huh? 
do you see that tracking by the way <laughs> yes <laughs> literally did i did i curve around to catch him yeah that's uh that's crushing church for you yeah uh, it also, oh yeah it also weirdly can be guard broken yeah, out yeah yeah I was I just gonna say, it, it, but, um, if you guard break it uh, in its startup, oh yeah, I, I didn't ever talk about the stages. All right, so this is the thing I found and uh, I, I go by, uh, there's three stages of Crushing Charge. If you look at the animation, there's uh, the first one where your like shield is next to you and you're winding up. There is the second one where you're in the middle of the animation, and there's that stage where you're actually in the crashing charge and it can hit. Um, the reason I have it as three stages is because based on this, uh, you can know whose crashing charge is going to hit first in a crashing charge to crashing charge uh, matchup. If I'm in a higher, I'm in a further stage of it, uh, mine is going to hit, and the enemies is just going to get interrupted. If both are at the same stage, then they will bounce off each other. And that's kind of how I just uh, just explained it for myself and how I've gone with it for the longest time. So if you guard break, if you manage to guard break uh, Warlord in stage one and two, you can get a free guard break. Uh, not sure why. Uh, it's, not, it's, an, it's not really a recovery, but that is possible. Uh, you won't do it on purpose uh, and I, you don't you should not try to do it on purpose but sometimes it does happen and uh it's a good way to troll a warlord i think that's kind of all the bugs and weird things about crushing charge oh um i guess we can mention that if you if you wall splat it off a player if you so you know how if you wall splat one person into another person uh, the stun is like less. So I got heavy then, but if, if Toti stands next to you and I throw him through you, Toti. Wow. Well, Toti keeps moving because. I won't be able to get. Uh, well, you oh. did because you let go. Uh, it's. And I also think it's because he's unlocked. Oh, okay. Because normally that doesn't give you a heavy. Okay, well, something's wrong, but uh, I think it's... Uh... Yeah, I'm doing it every time, so I'm, apparently I'm incredible, but... Um... <laughs> and that didn't... Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> All right. Basically, if you want to put it in... Um, uh, I don't know if it's teammate or enemy or if it's any difference. You won't be able to get the heavy. You're just going to be able to get a solid. Yeah. Which used to be fine because it only used to be 25, but not anymore because it's 14, whatever. Uh, if you're using Crushing Charge as... As uh, if you're abusing it as much as you can, you won't ever even try to get damage off of it because there's no point. Why get 14 damage when you can keep crushing charge again? Yeah. Um, you could definitely use your teammates as uh mobile walls to infinite with, but that would require a lot of coordination, like a lot of coordination. Yeah. So but, you need um, we need two fishes to do that really, don't we? Yeah, uh, like uh, even like me with fish, we try to do it, and it's it's like really hard. It's pretty easy to actually place yourself properly so he can wasp at you properly, but uh, there is a very high chance of that uh, like increased stagger to happen where he doesn't have enough time anymore, and it's uh, not guaranteed anymore. But uh, I think we can get into the one v ones. Yeah, let's do some one v let's see some one v ones. I will, I guess we'll quit out and uh, start again. Yeah. Is Toti gonna manage to get me all the way to the? Uh, yeah, yeah. See. There we go. Oh <laughs> yes, he did. I can see that through the wall. Yeah, it's just how it, <laughs> just how it be. Um, amazing, actually, just amazing. Yeah. So it's when when everybody talks about um, you know, map design and needing uh better like you know baby, baby proofing or whatever um i'll, I'll um I'll, I'll call it be like a mediating gent or something like that uh it is the <laughs> it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things when you've got a character that can ledge from anywhere if there's a ledge in the same postcode you can ledge with warlord so i think i've seen people i've seen rohit it takes someone all the way from a point on uh, I thought all the way down the stairs 
around the corner and ledge them on the other side of the, on like the ledge on the way up to a point. Um, yeah, you can go forever, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the the record is, and I, to be honest, I feel like maybe uh, maybe after the majors are done, and uh, you know, before the next season comes, I want to see a like a warlord, um, comp- a, a real tournament to see who can get somebody the furthest. I think um, fish. I mean, definitely fish has that record, and I think I was there to witness it. It was on harbor on. Um on a, a point where he took someone from so when you go up to a from defender spawn there is uh like where the bridge is that you can go under um like before that he took someone from there and was put him all the way to the ledge on the far corner of uh of a the little like uh hole in the wall oh and, uh, that was like that was like I think like three uh grounded uh crushing charges, like I don't know, like four wall splats and like one garbage mine game. It was crazy. <laughs> right, hold on. Hey, hey, hey man. I need more frames for this. Go to normal. To medium, I mean. I'm gonna stand in the background and just gesticulate. Alright, let's see. Actually, I might, I might go to washing in actually, so I'll, I'll do that quickly. Right. I'll leave you to you can narrate your um, warlord one v ones for a bit whilst you're it, whilst I'm going to get. Oh, I think I'm there already. Oh. I I, uh, I rolled and they call my roll. I forgot that roll has one million ms vulnerability now. Yeah, and if anybody else has got any questions for <coughs> pardon me, uh, anybody else has got any questions on these kind of things, uh, now's the time to ask them as well. I can see. Ah, oh, he pops rush. I didn't know. Th- I know. Th- I didn't know this was allowed. As you saw there, actually, the the tracking thing happened where I dodged, but I didn't because uh, I think I dodged too early, or I don't know. I don't think that was visible on stream. Ah, uh, well, I did dodge, and there was a dodge animation. Wow. Well, let's see if he gets hit. Ah, yes. Yeah. See, now you're smart. You have evolved from when I have told you that you're a bot. Do you think you would have failed the, the crushing charge, that went? No. Wow. The ego on this guy. Yeah, a, a, one v on, a crushing charge one v on is but definitely more fun when you can't okay keep popping feet when you can't react to it but it is very reactable so i don't have stamina to do it there keep good draw Very bad. Come on. Try my best, man. I haven't done this in like two months. See there, he started it before me, so he got it. And victory. There you go. It was actually really close timing because uh, he let go of uh, his crushing charge instantly. Oh, yes, I have rush now. P- uh, Fish used to use rush actually as well. Um, well, he thought it makes it go further. It doesn't, but um, 
it does make you go faster, which sometimes can uh, change the outcome. Wow. Plus point is a beast that's crushing charge. Suddenly. Suddenly. He was preparing, he was practicing on Spaniard while I was explaining. Oh, epic fail. I'm not well spotted here. No, brother. Very, very bad. Oh, oh. I see you don't mind. <laughs> what is the score? It's he's bledged me every time. Well, oh, five nil. Oh dear. Kind of hard because we can both react to it. So I have to catch him in a recovery or roll really early. Oh, how was that too fucking too late? Oh yeah, also back throw doesn't deal stamina damage. Even if you even if you get them right up too close to the wall? Yeah. Weird. Completely weird, I know. I've rolled forward from the crushing church. Okay, whilst we're whilst you guys are concluding this duel, I think what we should we could do is have a little workshop. And anybody who wants to um, pop your name in the voice chat or in in the Twitch chat. And I'll invite you, and we can do a little, uh, you know, practice sesh, as it were. We can all, you know, um, you know uh, normally can we can walk around, and some of us can be dummies to get crash in charge, and some of us can crash in charge, and you know, all have a whole rond eight person lobby going or something like that. <laughs> Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never well, actually we, been in a in a four ward or before ward or the lobby. I've, well, been in, I've, I've been in a, I've been in a 3v4 World or Dobby, but there's always been one guy who thought he was so cool. <laughs> well, I, mean, I thought it'd be something we can do to uh, just uh, you know practice practice the chaining it and stuff like that. Did you? Oh yeah. yeah. Top mind is legendary. All right. He is the stranger. Um, oh yeah. So basically, anybody wants put in voice text, um, to say in the in the thingy and um yeah i'll just invite you into the lobby potentially actually i'll probably leave in that case so i can i can be a wall myself um and maybe we'll oh. map to keep things keep things fresh and exciting i'm gonna boot up the game i want to join this yeah join uh we know I think, that snag's I think, a big fan of the ronding um, uh the stream will survive i have faith in i have faith in my pc all right so, i have I have a similar question as a uh, toaster here. Uh, top ten crashing charge players tier list. Anyone? Uh, fish, 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 fish. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's nobody that even comes close. It's actually crazy because people have been practicing it for the longest time, and he's just crazy good at it. Yeah. Uh, and Keltra, I got you on my friend's list. And I'm dead. You just um. I don't believe you do. Okay. Well, is your name Keltra on you play as well? Yes, it's the same as the Discord. Perfect. My game is currently taking ages to start, so I'll just stay on the stream for for a bit. 
Let me fire this up. See what we'll find if, if Fish is, 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 he, is he around? Is he live at the moment? Uh, he's very drunk if he's alive, so I do not recommend. <laughs> yeah, no. he has a, Fish left get... the server. He leave the service. Yeah, we don't want to get we don't want to get terms of service. Then he can't be controlled in any way. Yes, he's he's feral. <laughs> I tried getting him back in the server. I got some Spaniard, by the way. All right, great. Um, I've we'll, we'll wait to um, well, I'm in the way now. Right, I, I, because I'm playing a Jan Hu for some reason. I think I just wanted to go. I think I wanted to do this. Um. Hands up, Mina, by the way, Spaniards. Yes! I have finally killed them once. All right, well, on that note, let's set up a new lobby in that case, and we can invite um, everybody who wants to practice crashing, charging. Okay, yeah, I'm we... very down for a eight world lobby if that's possible. Yeah, let's I think do we it. We can actually stay in one lobby for this. Uh, in one in one PC. Yeah, well, so we're not yeah, going to do a proper, we won't do a proper, a proper scrim or anything. We'll just, you know, dick around with mm. crashing charge. Okay. No, I'm going to close the Discord stream and switch to my game output, by the way. That's all right. Can I join? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Totman will have to shut down God. his PC because it's melting soon for a while, but... <laughs> all right, well, strange. Oh, I accepted a personal random person. Let's... All right, all right. Uh, where are you? Are you online, Stag? Right. Who do I send my name? I uh, just... Put it in a put it in Dojo voice sex and I'll and I'll add you and invite you or you know if, I, if I've already got you just let me know. Um, you don't probably. Iron Tarkus. Oh hey there, Douglas. Are you the Iron Tarkus of the extremely high rep character, extremely high rep person, or are you a different Tarkus? I'm no. I'm. I just got here, so. No, no worries. Uh, let me add you in that case. Um... Um, there would be a better map for this, because um, both A and C are uh, very good places to ledge. Uh, which one? High Fort. Uh, high Fort. High Fort, yeah. High Fort would be a good one, yeah. Well, I was thinking it'd be fun to practice, like, uh, chaining it in anywhere, really. Um, but yeah, in high, Fort. high Fort's the classic one, so let's go for High Fort. Yeah, High Fort D um, is Warlord's home. Yeah. <clears throat> or on to... Is Toti oh, is Toti uh, computer melted again? Did he? He's taken a break of ten to fifteen minutes because his PC is melted. I guess. No worries. No worries. Only what's going on with it. Let me know when I can start. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can always just keep on inviting people as they as oh, they yeah, come in. Right, custom. Ha ha! Amazing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah anybody who wants, just can tell me. Do you want to? You want to join as well? AFK. No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I'm actually playing another game as I'm listening to you all. Very good. Yeah. Right, uh, as for teams, uh, I mean, that reminds me. Mm, let me think. How do we do this? Uh, yeah. I I only need one with me. One of you come with me. Well, I think we'll do it so we can have as many to practice with as possible, right? So, um. I think we, if we do it, like, I kind of feel like it'd be best to just do it as a, you know, practicing rather than necessarily trying to, like, compete, as it were. I know Stag plays a lot of Warlord as well, so he's probably quite, he's probably quite competent at the running charge, probably over the opposite, opposite team. Um, That's fine. It's like this, and we can be dummies. <laughs> I think we're probably, the two, we're probably the two best at crushing charge here. In case you guys are wondering uh, why I'm not picking Jack, I'm picking Bad Top instead. Um, you see, Hayford, point C is very nefarious for having a ledge literally everywhere. And with a bad tra uh, with a bad trap, you can you can pretty much confirm yourself a chart pretty much anywhere. No, sorry, not a chart, a ledge. And it's really mm -hmm. easy. So just, just but um, trap instead. I think you should do that only if you're going out of your way to get ledges. Because Jug is a billion times better than any bear trap will ever be. Yeah. I mean, uh, that is what Stack does. <laughs> yeah, that was way too Clearly, good. you see, I don't have all of Warlord's feats, so. That's alright. I mean, Jug's basically. 
Crushing I mean, church. Church. If I had all of those feats, I would use them, but I don't. So. Oh yeah, Jug is actually a way to throw against the Warlord. If you pop Jug against the Warlord, you're like so easily crushing charged, so that's pretty bad. Don't pop Jug around the Warlord. Really? Yeah. No, because first of all, really long animation that you can get crushing charge uh, through. And since you can't run, you can't like uh, do a lot of the things you could normally, then uh, I was actually just doing uh, one person on me and one person on stack because... Yeah, uh, pretty good idea. Rather than just that, pissing around. Okay. Uh, hold on. So, uh, Kyushin main and, uh, and Gelchi, you, you can... Yeah, you, stack is on that side and I'll stay on this side and you guys can... can yeah, you just practice this. like trying to uh, get multiple ones off the same wall splat, essentially. So it's quite a tricky thing to do, but... I'm so That was guaranteed. <laughs> So I'm gonna yeah, let yeah. you hit. I'm, I'm gonna let you hit me with the first crushing charge slash girl break, and then I'm gonna try to defend myself. Stag is just going to uh, have Very to good. resist his urge to get ledges. <laughs> if you'd held that, I think you would have ledged. Very tough. Uh, it, sometimes you can't hold onto it. It, it depends uh, on the wall. Right. There you won't be able to, or actually you will, because I can't dodge properly. Because <laughs> no, that was good fun, I think. Oh yes, oh yes. Aww. Right, hold on. Stag is around. Go ahead. Oh, it's getting off the knockdown ones, which is the hardest, oh. I think. You cut me in the dots. Yeah, the knockdown one is the hardest. Right, I unlock. Uh oh. oh. Uh oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> this is how these lessons go. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Come on with you. Yeah, I love stag ping. Oh yeah, no, um, don't worry, uh, uh, Phantom Danny. We definitely it. are planning to do a um, a Goki one at some point. I would quite like to do a. So we've, we've covered a lot of general topics, and it'd be quite fun to do carry on doing like how to do. How to play this character, like how to wall. We've done the how to wall. We can do a ah, what? <laughs> <laughs> we can do a how to go key, that kind of thing. How to go key, bro. Like... Yeah, and that just how to go key. That'd be interesting. How to be or just just be a monster. Right. But yeah, anybody else wants to get in on this? Uh, do you, do you really need a guide for that? I mean, to I be honest, play. I think Warlord is easier to play than Shug. So if we do the guide for Warlord. Yes. Oh, no every other every other one is also it's a deceptively easy character. Okay. Epic fail spam. Yeah, I know. I'm not the best at this. Oh yeah, uh, very unfortunate. That's another epic fail. Yeah. Epic Ferrano Warlord fails compilation number six. All right, double. Gotta get stag back. I mean, <laughs> I need to get rushed so. <laughs> um, yeah, so do you, um, Frosty, do you want to come in and join us as well? Get as many ROMs going here. Uh, just a question. Yep. Uh, I've always had my suspicions about this, but I've never tested it before. Does Rush actually increase the range of crashing charge? No. It if it not. did, it'd be actually broken in there. I'd have to change it, but. Uh, Fish used to think that it's not the case. Uh, it... It does sometimes help with uh, mixing up people who can react to it because you are moving faster, you know, it's just a mind game. Yeah. But it doesn't actually influence it in any way. Unfortunate. Wait, why am I saying it's unfortunate? It's a good thing. No, it's very unfortunate. I agree with you. Oh, that. We're dead. <laughs> oh, no, you got me on the startup. Dang it. <laughs> you're good enough to. I find controlling the camera really difficult with, uh, I'm, I mean, uh, with nope. what's trying to move as well. Jack up your sensitivity then. The ultimate peel character uh, for well, a reason. Thing, uh, you can just, you don't actually, you don't actually steer with, uh, WASD, you just steer with your camera, so once your crushing charge hits, just, you can let go of your control keys and just hold the uh, guard break down and look. In the direction oh, you want to go. Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, that's magnificent. I didn't hold it. You stupid. I'm on a controller, so I can't really do that. I mean, you can... Yeah, I guess you, but if you're holding the GB button, you don't need to... 
Oh, oh well. I mean, good. Works, I guess. It works, it works. No, you don't. There's a lot of luck going into crushing charge and chaining crushing charges because sometimes sometimes it doesn't go where you want, sometimes it goes perfectly where you want it to go. <clears throat> I... mm. But it's the mind of its own. I don't know. I don't like this place. <laughs> okay, that's... Thanks, game. That irregular mm. attack <laughs> besides <laughs> crashing charge, man. I, 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 love it. I love it when you get a lights before you can activate events. Oh, I'm being ganked here. Crash and charge ganked. I'm trying to get two crash and charge at once, and so that's a real thing. Crash and char charge ganks the most efficacious among them all. I died. That's a wonderful game. Mm. How did I kill that fuck? What a sight to see. <laughs> it's, oh. a... <laughs> no. it's a work of art more than anything. Oh, it's stupid. People don't really play Shigoki in tournaments, right? Oh, no, Goki uh, is, no, no, no. is the best character in the game right now. Yeah, Goki <laughs> played a lot in tournaments, yeah. King Mike, do you want to get on this last action? We, we, we must be seeing another, uh, what? Three people, right? So yeah, just just put your name down in the chat and we can, we can carry on practicing. Yeah, Shigoki is actually the biggest part of the meta right now, so... Yeah, yes, I mean, if anything, does get picked. part of the reason why Ward is falling out of favor is because he has such a horrible matchup against Shigoki and does and, and just... has a real nope. difficulty <laughs> dealing with Goki. Um, especially, well, Antonio was saying the other day, like, you have... He does his full, uh, you know, unblockable in your external guard as Warlord. And you have to dodge, and you can only dodge, and he can get you a good guy that hits you, or he gets you a, good, or a demon ball. And one day I'll get a ledge with Warlord. I never thought I'd hear that sentence. Oh. Uh oh. I was almost dead there. Yeah, she dead. No, she isn't. No. Right, we have third party. I'll save you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Three people. I gotta let Three on trying to let someone. Three on the one. Like to... fair, guys. I would like to throw my hat in the ring for this game. Yeah, bring it. Um, what's uh, what's your? I am no uh, coward. Hilarious oh, Australian. Oh. Oh, Australian rounding. Um, yeah. Do I... Terrible. You guys, are, you guys do are. Have... Oh, no. Um. <laughs> I do have you on. All right. When you're off, when you're online, I'll just yeah. invite you. Got you. Yeah, that's all right. Email. Let me just get my email confirmation. I hate this game. <laughs> uh... Don't we all, brother? You are right. okay. Oh, off the ledge, probably. Um... You know, sometimes it. it's just. You know, sometimes it's just more effective to headbutt the guy off rather than continue to change the correct Yeah, no, that's, if, you, if you get a wolf button, uh, like, right near the ledge, but uh, it's always better to just headbutt them off. Yeah. yeah. And you can headbutt on wake up as well from knock, knockdowns as well. If they fall off near, if they're, if they're you know, knocked down, and you try to knock them You're knocked down and you're no, trying to... that. No. Alright, I'll tell you in my notes, so you might need to... Whoa, see? That, right there, he got broke my crushing charge. I think I did that with uh, spam a few seconds ago, too. Yeah, you killed me with that. Monsters. Uh, imagine me... Warlord with a side dodge headbutt. Let me Actually, live my life. Might hurt your head. With side dodge crushing yeah. charge. Side dodge oh, no, crushing come on, charge. Let me... Easy. <laughs> Bad. Mmm. Tier <laughs> list for top ten. Wolfman's dumb plus flat. This is stupid. Need a tier list for the top ten crashing charges of this game. I, I I changed my my graphic preset from extreme to medium, and I got like twenty more frames. This is very bad. I changed my uh, graphics setting to medium. Uh, from extreme to low uh, the other day. 
<laughs> I got about a five frame difference. So what um, Stag did then was another regular trick used with um with Warlord, where you throw the your flask and then you pop Fury. Um, and you, the idea is to have the flask hit the ground and then pop Fury before it explodes, and then you give the opponent less warning. No. That, that was really that bad. You're going to be, King with the crack with a fury with a flask. Um, yeah, because usually when somebody pops fury and they have fire flask, it could be a pretty good indicator that they're yeah. about a flask. Exactly. And so that's so they try you try to avoid uh, giving that away. Although admittedly, warlord's flask is very fast and it quite is difficult fast. to avoid. Damn it! <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To dodge that. Damn it. I would like. To... I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, but I would like to receive invitationals. Uh, who's that? Uh, Milkower. Oh, I, I just I did send you an invite just now. Um, check your. Oh, oh right. Uh, I'll check, check the overlays it. working. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um... Oh, oh damn friends. it! I did not receive an invitation for Sven. I have sent you another one. Thank you. That's gonna hurt. Does the full block have any use? Dio asks. Well, I mean, compared to other full blocks, it's 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 comparatively safe because you can dodge out of it. No! You can it's dodge mostly a team fight. And then dodge with very low recovery. So as long as you le as it has 100 okay. minutes to recovery to dodge as soon as you quit out of it. Um, also, something that. So oh, it's. I mean, it is useful. Um, it just doesn't have a huge punish on it. Long. Um, also, another thing that I uh, don't see people use enough is um, doing a zone out of um, full block because that has, because it's basically the same range as a uh, regular um, regular zone, so you can use it to peel out of a full block. I'm dead. Yep. Can I join in the runs too? Yeah, Here's yeah. Your uh, what's your you playing name? Crushing charge. I I think milk can just invite me. I already. Oh yeah, you can do that as well. Right. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I have been. I have teams and invitation. I have. There you are. If this were an actual game, this would be extremely infuriating. But oh my god, this is so. I much mean, fun. to be honest, this would be a better competitive scene than what we have now. <laughs> right up. Damn it! Ah. I'm dead. No, you're not. I'm not dead. Abolish single. Abolish single. Okay, pick. now I am dead. <laughs> Yeah, a body single pick. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> we actually no, need what that. What do you mean? Reject single pick, accept, go back to Christian Church. Well, you know, that was a while ago we did that. Um, that was that Goki, that Goki tournament. Oh, I didn't realize you were OS. That was before Goki had his rework. No, 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 no. Yeah, I remember that one. Barak was flaming everyone in that one. <laughs> you got back to Goki heavy! Oh, there's three of them now. No, there's four. <laughs> wow, we are multiplying. Yes, led your teammate? No? <laughs> <laughs> I missed. I'm going to jug myself, which is probably a very terrible we idea. Have, we have oh, he has revenge. Oh, no. Idea, yeah. Oh, wait, no. I just realized way. I fucked up. <laughs> and you still died. <laughs> oh, there you are. No. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my dead. God. <laughs> we are <laughs> learning <laughs> today. Yes, we yes, yes, come, come yes, we win this. <laughs> Finally, we've capped the point. <laughs> do we have an eighth? I want to do. I would literally want all eight people to be on this point. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get. Let's get one Screw more. Screw you guys. One more. And... Come on, guys. Ah. I, don't like the, I don't like this place. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you're man. mean. Okay, maybe. Nice <laughs> Why'd you dodge into that? <laughs> uh, well, I'll just look to my friends list and see who's who's online. Invite everyone to their friends this fine. Yeah, He's nearly uh, OS, but I'm OS as well. Yeah, uh, nope. Good, bitch. Yarm's life in a nutshell. <laughs> what the fuck? Frank and Talk about it. What? No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! What the shit? What? 
No! <laughs> no! Yes! Ah! No! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is so dumb! <laughs> Can't Did I just get a hit button in two? Screams, yeah. I've sent some. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, danger. My danger. Oh, no. Did nothing. A learning experience. Yes! Get no. <laughs> this is literally the game. <laughs> this is this is a learning experience, by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're learning about crushing charge and how to... the whole point about this. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just I just got fury flash. Thanks, guys. You have to smooth off the wrinkles on your brain. Um... You just fucking. <laughs> you, just... you just fucking. No. Oh my god. Oh no. You just... Oh, no. I just TB2 no. crashing charge. Oh, regardless, if I was ledged or not. No, 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 just stop that. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Span That's not Spaniard. Who is this? I, am, I am the warlord. Is... <laughs> yeah, I'm playing warlord. Who is the warlord? Yeah, I'm I don't warlord. know who the warlord is. <laughs> Who's the warlord? <laughs> Who's the warlord? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is a cluster fucking a half. <laughs> well, I lost revenge because I, I locked on. <laughs> <laughs> Here I have a fireflies. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! No! Who stopped me? <laughs> no there's like uh, there's there's <laughs> Raider oh, Heaven. What the fuck are you doing? Can the Raider I... join in? This is gay, but it was wrong. Oh my god. god. Oh no! Oh, I thought it. I knew we got left. <laughs> Yes, we need one more. Come on. This is literally matchmaking all over again, God. <laughs> one spot, one spot for anyone. Yeah, any we like it was playing. Uh, yeah. There's nothing I can do there. It was two v one. How about I let some? What would happen if I picked Raider though? Well, well you'd, get uh, uh, all just you'd charge. probably get fluffed instantaneously. Yeah. Ouch. Feels Raider, man. I just yeah. got to beat. Thank you. No. <laughs> 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 See, that's why you always need to tee up your crush. No, 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 Spen! No, I can't stop him. I'm practicing. Um, what can I say? Yeah. Uh, I'm practicing. Beats, uh, beats me on into mid. We can't let them cap. Beats me into, into mid. No, 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 no! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Corporation. <laughs> We would practice, they say. It'd be fun, they said. It is fun, just not for you. <laughs> no, 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 no! Yeah, oh, you no. Want to... <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I think I just this managed by my... Is this on what Bronner minute. is? Yes. Wait, you ledged two wait. teammates. You ledged two teammates. Can stag, come here, come here, come here, mm -hmm. come here. Turn around. Sit on the ledge. Oh, what do you mean? What do you want? No. Does that what do you mean? Work? <laughs> oh my wow. god. Guys, wow. I, have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. <laughs> Alright, keep crushing charging until I get my fast pack, then we have a plan. By the way, by the way, you you pushed me into someone and let me with him, then you then you flashed him and yourself off. Amazing. <laughs> no! 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> How'd you get staggered for that? No! 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 No flask. No. I'm joining this. <laughs> I didn't get flask. And now you're on the you're you're on the fucking table. Come here! Come here! <laughs> I've even got yeah, my yeah, yeah. in this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you will die to the McDonald's warlord. Come here. <laughs> no, no, the McDonald's, this is a the McDonald's warlord. Is oh, no. he just no super? Is he oh, just no. super no, obese? No, 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 no get him! No, no, why is nobody getting him? Okay. What oh, congratulations! Oh, no. <laughs> it's both of us. <laughs> See, right Hello, in... Mr. Spaniel. I am ready. Run into to my get Can everyone See. come on the point? Can everyone come on the point? And uh, peace for once. <laughs> peace, peace. Uh, Normie, what truce, the heck? Truce, truce, truce. Yeah, truce. No, the, 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 truce of, the truce of high fort C point. Yeah, everyone come here. Everyone come to the point. Yeah, I know what you are want we to do. Still, I think we're missing one. Yeah, I'm 
I'm just trying to get like can tell him why you play is being a like are a two are we missing two? Can tell what's your you play again? Wait, there's three orange. Being sweaty and... Kintama. Oh, I have broken the truth. No. <laughs> Why? Stop. Do not. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> what did I cause? Stop this. Stop there this. Invite said. Come here and we'll come here. We'll soon have eight boards. Yes, I want all all, all word words to oh, come. Oh, I wanted to let you so bad. Wait, let's all see. I wanted to. Please, please, I wanted to let you so bad. Stand yeah, on one... To... Guys. Everyone... Okay, everyone stand on that ledge where Stag is. Yeah, everyone come to okay. me. Don't let uh, Are we all fire blasting their souls off? No, 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 no. Let, I will do the honors. Just go there. You got that just too. Everyone. Uh, or, everyone, just go to this ledge. Actually, I will. Oh my god. Oh, that's... No, I can go. Cringe. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Easy. See what you did, Nomi. What did I do? I didn't do shit. This guy did it. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Australians. Hate Australia, man. <laughs> no, stag. Nice <laughs> 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 rush. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let us all get on one. Let us all get on one really wide specific ledge, and then we all fire flash uh, ourselves. Uh, like this one. Do... We can get on the bridge. Oh, we can get on the bridge. This one, this one. Just yeah. get on okay, the bridge. Okay, the bridge, the bridge. We all stand in a conga line on the okay, bridge. No, 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 wait, who has flask? Okay. Who has flask? Who has flask? Uh, oh, I do. Okay, okay, Spaniard, Spaniard. No, no! 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 And it didn't kill no. not one person. It's oh, required. You no. he it requires me. planning, Spaniard. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> okay, I almost have mine again. No, Spen no, Spen stop it. Please, I want to do it once, and then I can go. I am so drunk. I've puked her. Please, let me go. Span, now you understand the mindset I'm always in. Yes, my bad trap. Okay, all right. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's give it to me. Bridge, 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 bridge. Yeah, I'm dead. And I'm going to pass myself as well. Okay, everybody do a conga line on the bridge. Yeah, and we hug this ledge. We hug this ledge. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. I'm almost there. 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 Oh, it's a bit tough for me. Uh, uh, I have five. Wait, wait, wait. You need to go across. All of you, all of you need to be like right on the edge. So. We are wait on until the we edge. all have fire flask and then we all throw it instantaneously. Okay, wait, stag, stag, go on the other edge. Well, yeah, if you're on, if you're on both either side, that also works. Yeah, as well. yeah, 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 like that. That's perfect. Can go on That's one side. Perfect. Should I throw now? No, no, no. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Okay. Like usual. Wait, everybody, wait, uh, let's let's all throw it. Let's all wait for a uh, fire flask and no, throw only it. Only that would go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was racist. No, I oh, threw the fire. Whole... This game is racist, <laughs> he says. It, it threw it's the racist toward the attacker team. By the way, I'm, I'm really? currently uh, stuck by my teammates. Uh, you're racist towards my people, the warlords. And now we continue. Now we have everyone here, so we can have a- we actually have a chance. No. No chance. Oh no! No 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 no! This game. Oh my god! No, he's oh my getting god. the point. He's getting the point. No. no. <laughs> Wait, for yes. Spaniard, you had your <laughs> funny flash. This guy's regening. Hello. Oh, it's a strap. It's definitely a strap. No. <laughs> Easy. Oh my god. Oh, I rolled. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I'm dead. Go, 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 get him! No! no what is wrong with you? <laughs> you know no, what I'm- you know No, what I'm I made right. a, I've made a terrible mistake. You know exactly oh, what's wrong with me. Somebody put me on the- uh, Somebody put me on the crashing charge tier list number one, easy. <laughs> Loving hearing all the screams. No, no! <laughs> get away from me. I've only so died to like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh, should we actually? <laughs> uh, so should we actually move on to an educational sector of this, or this is the educational sector? It's pretty educational. <laughs> I can't talk this teaches stuff. everyone. I mean, I would definitely be up like pulling into pairs and trying to like practice getting. Like how far, how many we can chain, just like individually. This looks but... fun. 
But yeah, we can we can carry on doing this as well. Well then, now we're both out of stamina. No, Never mind. No, 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 no. no I just, I <laughs> Did you just fucking Raven Flask in my lobby? <laughs> Get away! I'm being crushing charge from by my teammate. Oh, we should play again. What is that? Easy. <laughs> Oh, see, you that see kills. that shit? MK Ultra Six. I I I didn't read the full name. What about me? And that Raven Blast. You see that shit using this teammates as walls? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh, this game sucks, man. <laughs> are, are we just guarding no. the entrance in no. by fire? No. Easy. Blast. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. okay, maybe we should split into pairs and see how many crush crushing charges we can get. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> never what? happens to your team, it's always our team. <laughs> well, that's because your team is on a narrow bridge. No, Look, keep him there for just a away. moment. <laughs> oh, well, there's swords go. There's swords in use. That's not what this lesson was about. No, we unlocked here. Ow. Yeah. Oh, we we should have alter we should have alternate gear sets. Warlord with just a shield. Um, we need we need a draw. Die. I mean, it happens sometimes oh. where it glitches your weapon. No, we need oh, yeah, I've with, seen that before. We need warlord yeah. with two shields. With two shields, like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Two shields, twice the uh, twice the crashing charge. Yeah, and you can chain them off one of the the other. Oh no! Don't contest, please. I'm about to die. Oh, okay. Die. Oh, that killed me. All right. Oh, the stamina sucks. All right. So, how did you guys say that you uh, you you steered it? Was it like uh, with your camera yeah. instead of instead yeah, of your? It's, it's oh oh man, I suck. Unlock. I suck. I suck. I can't. Unlock I can't under... see anything in this. Point. With I can't thing. see anything in this fucking lag. <laughs> no, 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 no. Blame the lag. Blame the lag. Whoa! The McDonald's. Okay, you okay, always, it's... you lot always blame the lag. Um, but when I blame it, I, I'm, the... I didn't even the... see that because of the fire. Fear morbid obesity. I am too drunk oh, for this. Suicide blast. <laughs> All right, guys. I, use, oh, I think, oh, I think, I, I, I just uh... raised blast, but it worked out anyway. <laughs> I think we <laughs> end. <laughs> We've oh captured. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Wait, I I want to I want to do bowling but with warlord. Go 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 go, bowling, go, go, go. We've reached the uh, the limit of uh, what we might learn. Get a group up. They're gonna yeah. ledge. Mine and... um, everybody get on that really no. wide ledge at the eastern sector of sea. Uh, that one over I there. And I, I want to bowl with that warlord. That Let's bowl. No! What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no! I don't, th I don't think uh, we can get any... Five. I need to go get something to eat. Um, I I'll let this... You guys can continue as long as you want. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, so, um... <laughs> I, I kind of want to do bowling with Warlord. So, but yes, if you want to, like, break up and have... Um, and do pairs and practice your, like, rounding 1v1s, then go ahead. Um, you guard break my crashing charge, what? <laughs> All right. No. So thanks so much, everyone, for joining us. Um, ah. Not every Spaniard. dojo is as chaotic Help. as this, but uh, I hope you had a I hope you had a lot of fun. I certainly have. Thanks much. Thank you, Normie, for giving us a uh, lesson and everything. And yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm dead. Ciao. I'm 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 out of here. Have fun with the rest of it <laughs> for the rest of the evening. You like, I... ended the lobby. All right. <laughs> you ended the lobby span. Oh, Good night. Right. Oh no, I ended the lobby. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, let me that that again, sounds like it was on purpose. Oh well, over it's, anyways. it's a good time to end. I will yeah. leave the I'll leave the group, and you can uh, you can uh, create a new lobby if you want to. Sorry about uh, that, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue no, streaming. No, we're...
Uh, guys, I'm well, not going to continue streaming though. We'll keep it okay. to schedule. I'm going to end the dojo here officially. And everyone who wants to continue playing, you can stay in the lobby and go on. I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye to you. Uh, goodbye to Twitch. Right. Goodbye to YouTube as well. And I'll see yeah, you guys. Bye, YouTube. Say, and bye, everybody else. Later. GG, everyone. GG's. No, no.